My name is Christy Papania Jones, and I'm with the St. Nicholas Center for Early Intervention. Well, the St. Nicholas Center started as a thought um, when my son was first diagnosed with a disorder called apraxia. We decided that we wanted to try a lot of intense therapy to see if we could get him to talk on his own. And so we found a therapy, and he said his first word in four months. We were believers in the therapy. Unfortunately, there was no one in Lake Charles giving that therapy. So we were having to work with teams out of Boston. So my husband and I were faced with the decision of moving or bringing it to Lake Charles. My name is Michelle Mudd. Christy has always been a champion for children. Being able to tell your mom that you love her and to be communicative when formally you, you enter the St. Nicholas Center and aren't able to speak, you aren't able to sign for your own toy until you get there and you learn these very, very basic things that you and I maybe take for granted. She inspires me because she's an incredible mother and I think she's had even more challenges than the average mom and goodness knows moms have plenty of challenges just to begin with. With, with Bain being developmentally delayed, um, I feel like she is not coward in the face of challenge. Instead, she's rose up and she's done amazing things that are new and initiated things, not only for him, but for other kids that face the same thing. I mean, I don't want to use the term hero loosely, so I won't. I'm just going to say Christy Jones is my hero. My name is Melissa Coco Raymond, and I am the clinical supervisor at the St. Nicholas Center. Christy is so involved. The center definitely would not be able to make it without her. She has a full-time job, and the St. Nicholas Center is also a full-time job, and we really couldn't do what we do without her. She's very involved in the staffing and the kids and making sure that we are able to provide the absolute best service to the kids and to the families that we serve. So she, we, we couldn't do it without her for sure. I just genuinely have faith in people, and I believe that everyone can learn. And before I ever even had a child with a special need, I believed that every child was capable of learning. We just had to find the right tools to do it, which is why I became a teacher and why I became a counselor. Just finding that key to unlock for that specific child the world of learning. And this group is no different. They just need a special kind of help to get there. Applied behavior analysis is using positive reinforcement to create behaviors that you want to see more often. Whenever they have intensive ABA therapy, some children can become indistinguishable from their peers. I just wanted to give them the opportunity to function in society as everyone else, and that's what this therapy can do for children. Many children started our center completely nonverbal, no communication repertoire at all. Now 100% of them are communicative. When a parent can communicate with their child, it's the most joyful experience you could ever imagine.